At long last, ReZero, starting life off in another world. Starting life off with a new anime. Brought to you by Ministop. Oh, starting life, starting life off. Starting the show off with a meta joke. MC knows how to media. It's hard to choose. So many great choices at Ministop. Japan and it's Japan and it's so many things. It's love for cash. Japan loves its cash and coins. Japan is one of those countries that you travel through and the loose change in your pocket is worth like $45. In most countries, if a coin falls out of your pocket, you just ignore it. In Japan, you panic. Separately, I have this long running personal thought of like, what if I could make the best country by assembling individual aspects of all the countries I've been. Japanese convenience stores. Nothing I've experienced is remotely close. You can live there. It is everything. This is where they suck you in. Another world is calling you, Subaru. Don't worry, Subaru, your loser gaming days are over. <laughs> what? Why is this already happening? There will be dinosaurs and dog people. Lord Isekai mentioned. And he just rolled with it. He was ready from the beginning. Re... Oh, is that the title? Re Life in a Different World from Zero. This was super abrupt. It is the world of Oregon Trail with dinosaurs. <laughs> How is he adjusting this so fast? I guess it's good. I guess we just skip it. We can skip the whole like Jack Skellington, what's this song and dance. Well, yeah, it's, just, it's Christmas Town. We found it. Cool. This could be a dream though. Could be a fake out. Cool stuff like adventure and war. Good thing no one noticed that. He's about to get fleeced. Uh, parents, uh, siblings, school, school, school life. I mean, he's not going to miss school, but. Damn, you can't fit into two worlds. I actually like that a lot. Going into this, I was thinking, finally, my first isekai. But then it occurred to me, actually, this is, I think, my second. Way back when I watched a show called Vision of Escaflone, which doesn't seem to really get brought up that much. But just in my expectations of the genre, I was imagining this very thing he's describing. Like, you're transported into this new world where suddenly you're a hero by virtue of something, reasons. The way I can immediately relate to the isekai thing is this is what a lot of people are doing when they move abroad. They have this erroneous belief that the issue with their life is the place and that by moving to another world, they will be transported to a new reality. But as my mother likes to say, wherever you go, there you are. That said, there is something to it. It can be what you want and it can go really well, but it's not gonna happen by virtue of just moving location. The reason why it's often effective is because you're pattern breaking. You're in a brand new place, perhaps with a brand new language. Without your previous supports, you're forced to push yourself into new situations and that often is accompanied by growth. You have to go out and acclimate socially. You have to go out and acclimate romantically. If you're working, you have to acclimate to new work environments. You have to figure out and build up your life from this new place. And there often is something like a momentum to one's daily situation. Like your daily situation may be flat while you're getting older and actually your mind is growing and moving to a new place allows you to start fresh with your sort of enhanced mind, enhanced spirit, what, what have you. There's also a continuity that is kind of enforced by your social circle. While you are always you, sometimes your mannerisms, the way you carry yourself is influenced by what you think people expect of you. And going to a new place allows you a little bit of freedom to breathe. Like nobody knows who I am. I can be whatever I want. There's another possible path where you seek familiarity, you hide from it, you just repeat your life in a new location and are maybe even worse off for it. I think a lot of it comes down to mindset. You show up somewhere, you're like, I'm going to make the most of this. You know, you're invigorated. You sink your teeth into it. You're okay with embarrassment, which is kind of cool, I think, because ultimately the success comes from good stuff. There is no protagonist slot in life. The protagonist life or rewards probably follow as an extension of spirit and personality. But finally, he thinks about his family. <laughs> this level one equipment 
Ramen, starting life in a new world with ramen. Yeah, he's about to get mugged. He's about to get fleeced. It, it's inevitable. He just stands out. He's got no street smarts. Probably part of them. One of the gang. <laughs> or just ignores. Totally ignores. I like how he's talking about this like it's a historical event. Can he actually fight? This is a dream. This is a dream. Still, he did pretty well. I'm feeling real pain sort of ruins the whole gaming advantage. Are oh, you the one that summoned me? Give him back his jagged edge 10 yen coin. <laughs> Watch him get ignored by two girls. Oh no, it happened. This is humiliating. Okay, alright. Thank God, sweet merciful assistance. I have so many questions. What caused this? I mean, I know this will be explained. Does it have any connection to Mini Stop? Is Mini Stop the last boss? Praise Mini Stop. Okay, I like her. <laughs> Cold. Yeah. A part of the pain of the parallel world is that, you know, you'll have a harem, but you won't sleep with any of them. They'll just be around. Some of them will yell at you. And the one that is obsessively dedicated to you will be the one you're least interested in. And one of them will be a cat. <laughs> Is this the cat? <laughs> this is not the cat girl that we wanted. Well... Do you want to join my harem? <laughs> I think we found the rough one. Bye. This is common anime sense that you violated. She's right to scold him. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this design. <laughs> Weird. It's freaky. The real world forgotten. Sorry, mom. Sorry, dad. Sorry, mini stop. I have ramen. <laughs> you just embrace this whole world with light speed. How did we get here? Don't do that. Don't do that. But on the plus side, he's honest. He knows his games. He nailed it. That's good. I mean, he's got to have family issues, right? If he's willing to just start over. I don't think his life is going that great. If this happened to me, my first thought would be, I have to get back to feed my cat and make YouTube videos. <laughs> I have a couple days max to enjoy this. And then I have to obtain cat food and an internet connection. And like, you know, my friends and family and girlfriend. My girlfriend is going to be very suspicious of this story. <laughs> Hey, we're holding hands already. I'm nobility. You're in a new world, you can just lie. It's an odd reaction to being asked your name. That's a lie. She lied. Cat's like, is he really buying it? What? 
save her before she gets Shigaraki. She even looks kind of like Shigaraki. Could be a scam. Tread carefully. You've deeply disappointed me, Subaru. Tencent coin makes a comeback. Comes in handy. Thank you, Subaru. I totally forgot about my dead parents. Okay, good. <laughs> I thought it was something much worse. Much worse. This is all moving so quickly. Episode 2 is going to have a kid starting life in a new fatherhood. Oh no. Oh no, she has this pegged. Oh god, if Freerun is an indication, she could be 8,000. This is totally random, not at all connected to the scene, but just thoughts about the format in general. Is it usually a medieval setting? And if so, why? There's no mini stop, and also, it just feels like a world where people are using porta potties. Is it not an inferior world? Also, separately, how is the nightlife here? The one thing that's consistent though for him is that neither world uses credit cards. Oh, it's you. Oh? I saved your daughter. Free appas for everyone. This guy likes fruit so much he wears it on his neck. Can't buy fruit with thanks. Very directly. Oh, maybe we're about to see the nightlife. Okay. These kids are following you. One of the more challenging things I've experienced traveling is a lot of times scammers will use children as proxies. So like they'll get children to try to pickpocket. They'll also beg and it's tough. Like, I mean, it's designed to be this way. It's designed to put you in a position where your own compassion is used against you as a weapon. What do you do? You don't give money to the kid. Also with the knowledge that if you don't give the kid money or buy the rose or whatever, they might be disciplined for their failure because they're technically working. Then there's also the flip side of that, which is that if you do give the money you're supporting this industry and for the pickpocketing kids what are you supposed to do you're not going to physically battle them so there's no real way to address it and they know that so it ends up being really uncomfortable <laughs> existence is a job right those kids just in the background lurking no need to be judgmental. Just like us. <laughs> this reminds me of Korra, the spirit world. So much for protecting their own. That is a scam. If I understand correctly, a lot of scams are followed up by recovery scams, where you've been hacked or lost something or whatever, and someone contacts you offering to help you retrieve it or unlock your computer or whatever it is. In the middle of the night, he's still carrying the ramen. This is powerful leverage at some point. Imagine being in a new world, in the slums, with no discernible powers, and being bold enough to walk into this house alone. That's not her name, so... Okay. You're in the thick of it now. Yeah, this is not a game anymore. This just happened, too. What? Is that his stomach? We also don't know any of the rules. I'm guessing you die in real life, you die here. Not that he seems to care about real life at all anymore. This is how they lure you in. That's... not great. She just died. This is what we saw. Respawn? 
Did you use a continue? Okay, it is game-like. I still have no money. Do we have to do this again? That's gotta be incredibly disorienting. But a little bit reassuring, I guess? I think you gotta meet her again. Yeah, well, here we go again, round two. I think, like, don't you want to let them kick your ass this time? You want to repeat it exactly as it happened. It was going so well. I and mean, then just don't go to that house. He doesn't realize, yeah. This is repeating. Starting life off from a new save file. Well, maybe this time he can, like, grab the thief as she runs by and have the emblem. But then wouldn't that weaken their relationship? Okay, he has the benefit at least of having trained. I like how while he was talking about his grip strength, his solution was just kick him in the nuts. That's my purse. I don't know you. Subaru's then is Bobby Hill. He went to the house, so he missed the encounter. He's gonna get here before the crime. Oh, he's brave, give him that. Everything's fine, it's... yeah. Didn't happen yet. This guy was dead. Something really bad is gonna happen to you. In about 12 hours. As opposed to his morning blues. There go my nightlife hopes. Should just stand out, right? Even in this fantasy role. Like, at what layer are you asking? Do you no longer know? He might have to start off life with a new love interest. I wouldn't do that. He cannot. I have mini stop ramen. <laughs> I was waiting for this to become relevant. Wait till you experience the delights of processed food. <laughs> but you can't eat just one. <laughs> they would! <laughs> wow. Tomorrow so introducing drinking snacks, booze snacks, bar foods, bar snacks to this fantasy world. <laughs> he ate the trade. These kids, man. With all his knowledge of parallel worlds, he hasn't figured it out. He's got a very Riku from Final Fantasy X vibe. I have one thing of instant ramen. A cell phone. That's not valuable here. Pictures. Yeah, there you go. That is pretty cool. I didn't think about that. Maybe there's more than just him in here. Figure it out, Subaru. Think about it, Subaru. It was you. Oh yeah, there's the older lady harem one, too. And she's gotta be a witch, right? Speaking of Final Fantasy, Ultimacia. Oh, I'll be taking all of it. He's so not cautious. He's broadcasting the fact that he's not from here. There's a lot that Satella isn't telling us. There's something about her and the insignia and whatever that's very high stakes. Okay, here we go. Oh. What is going on? What the hell is that? Nanda. Yeah, right, right, yeah. Broadcasting way too much. It's also not necessarily clear or the case that Satella is good or the insignia or whatever or something it represents. We don't know who's after it. We don't know why it's so important. This lady, uh, I don't know. Just feels like she's doing a job. And the insignia definitely sparked something. Satella or whatever her name is hasn't exactly been forthcoming with information. <laughs> Gonna help her. It's dead, yeah. That's too bad. 
ごちそうさまでした。That's just cool. All right, she's bad. Can we re reset? Load the save file. Wow, really gloating with that milk glass. Yeah, she's high level. She's a later boss. This is the boss introduction. She got sliced in half. She got sliced in half. Okay. Reload, reload, reload. What happened to your level 70 grip? Yeah. The best thing going for him right now is that he's such a rookie. It's not worth taking seriously. I don't think it would have made a big difference, but what's with the lips? Now you get it? Now do you see? How many continues do we have? I actually dodged it. Oh wow. Whoops. I kind of like her. <laughs> she's very, you know, emotionally contained. And she's got hobbies, got talent. You're gonna reload back to the Apple checkpoint or Apple checkpoint. You're gonna get called broke again. She's really enjoying this, huh? And yet, here you are. What are you, broke? What are you, some kind of brokey? Broke, broke? No money, boy? <laughs> what are you, broke? So that was the speech choice. Fainting. Oh, I don't know. If, how do you recreate this? That's not her name. Why are they obscuring her face? She doesn't know what the hell you're talking about, dude. Witch of Envy? It's not a great first impression. The end of the beginning and the beginning of the end. I am Alpha and Omega. What's the loop? Is it Steins Gate? You gotta play the game exactly right to leave it. This is not the best, most enchanting start to this adventure. I mean, first of all, I can smell the porta potties. This kid could not get any leg up on his harem building, which I thought was the whole point. Re zero. Obviously, so many questions. Well, why? Why did he enter? What's at stake? What is the function of the repeat? I doubt it's just you know a game mechanic and that's just the way it is for no reason. He's here for a reason, and there's a reason why he's restarting, and he has to get it right. But that raises all sorts of questions, like towards what end? What is the goal of getting it right? For whom? Is it even something good? Is he a puppet? It is a science gate thing, right? Like you gain one thing and you lose another. You can't have it all. A choice for this means giving up a choice for all of this, everything else. You're taking infinite potential and writing it into a line or a point. Ending song is really cool. Doesn't seem like it's going to be a fantasy escape. Like I move locations, I'm in this new world and suddenly I'm protagonist hero and everyone loves me and everything's perfect. I'm so popular because I'm protagonist without any sort of spiritual or thematic underpinning, which is a relief. Like I said, the whole starting over thing as it applies to real life can work, but it has to follow the usual suspects of like good outlook and decisions and choices. I mean, to be honest, there is some material alpha you can gain just simply by moving, but that's rarely the full story. I think some people have an idea that moving to another country makes you more romantically desirable, which in my experience, there's something to, but you don't want it. And if you think changing location is gonna solve your romantic problems, you're likely gonna have your ass handed to you. For Subaru, what is the upside? It just went from bad to worse. Like at least we had mini stop before. I mean, there is something I could point to that is great, but he, he won't feel it. It'll be drowned out by all the other stuff that's going on, all the terrible things. And that's having something to do. You know, there's a purpose now. It's like, go out there, discover this world, find out who this girl is, what is happening. I'm not exactly sure this is a desirable way for this to happen. It's kind of like that thing of, you don't have any existential angst or dread when you're being chased through the jungle by a tiger. It's sort of like, yes, but at any rate, we've established some of the basics of the world, the overall atmosphere, and I think the mystery of the show that I'm curious to see unraveled.